Into the Ice is the current exhibit here at the old schoolhouse in Qualica Beach. We're talking to photographer Lois Brown. On today's show, the formative years in Parksville with Building Learning Together, Bear Smart in Port Alberni, and highlights from the Western Canada Cup in Nanaimo. That and more in the next 30 minutes. Into the Ice is an exhibit featuring the photography of Lois Brown and we're going to have a conversation with Lois Brown later on this edition of Go Island and talk about a video presentation that is coming up here at the old schoolhouse on Saturday this coming weekend. We're also going to look at some of the glass ice, ice glass sculptures by glass artist Rick Silas on this edition of Go Island. But before we get to any of that, building learning together is a staple for families in the Oceanside area and they focus on children and the family bond that children need and thrive on between the ages of zero to six. They have a brand new munchkin land that has opened. Here's Rayanne LaPlante. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4 and today we are in Qualicum Beach at the old schoolhouse in awe of an exhibit called Into the Ice. It features two artists. One is an ice glass artist, Rick Silas. He lives in Sydney, just outside of Victoria. The other is Lois Brown. She also lives in Victoria, but is here with us today. And I asked you just a moment ago if you're an environmentalist, and you said no. And yet you describe your work here as... It would be a form of environmental portraiture, I guess, Kate. That's the only way I could describe it. It's landscapes around the world, waterscapes, and now icescapes, that describe changes in the environment as they're happening today. How do you think that depicting, and the images are beautiful, uh, these images of the Antarctic is going to help bring awareness to the conservation efforts that need to take place to save these areas? Happily, the response we've had from these shows with the images has been how beautiful they are mm -hmm. and how stunning it is down there and how pristine the environment is. So if people are thinking about that, I hope that they would want to keep it like that. And not everybody has the opportunity to go and see it for themselves, so exactly. you're bringing it here. Yeah, and part of the proceeds from every show I do go to the Antarctic Heritage Trust, which looks after the huts of the old explorers and keeps them as they were in the early 1900s. Wow. Now you've mentioned, we're going to get into that a little bit later because there's a video we're going to tell you about and there's a presentation coming up here at the old schoolhouse on Saturday. You've used the plural, the shows that I do. So this is one of four. Yes. Tell me about the other adventures that you've had. Well, the first show was of Ireland and it was called One Woman's Journey Ireland and took place at the Maritime Museum of British Columbia in Victoria. The second one was Tasmania. I was following a story about Irish convicts being deported from Ireland and I wondered where they went during the potato famine in the 1850s. Tasmania was one of the destinations they were sent to on convict ships. Mm -hmm. So I went to Tasmania to see what it was all about and see if I could track some of the Irish history. From there that led me to Newfoundland where there were also a huge Irish connection from that time in, right. in the potato famine. So it's been an interesting journey and the journey goes on. Um, the third show was, uh, hmm, let's see, we had Tasmania, then, oh, I did, uh, I went up to the Yukon and Alaska and then up to the Arctic and uh, I had an exhibition sort of more online for that one. Mm. And this is number four. Uh, so many questions and so little time as usual. How does one get started on a journey like this? It just seems you like take, such a wonderful life that you're leading. You take a big breath and you say, what's the worst that can happen if I take the next step? Right. And you just keep taking the next step. And you spent one month in an Antarctica yes. and you already have the video produced, so you move very quickly. We've worked really hard since I got home. Um, I've done nothing but work frankly okay. and uh, yes it but it's it's so exciting to have a project like this mm. it's not even like work 
Okay, we're going to, I keep saying we're going to, we're going to, and then I ask one more question. We're going to talk about Into the Ice. It's a collaborative uh, organization and effort from a multitude of different artists. We'll talk about that a little bit later. We'll talk about your video a little bit later. But in the meantime, let's talk about Antarctica and some of the images that we're seeing now, and maybe one or two things that people just don't know that you think they should know. Well, um, some, there's some, so many interesting things about the Antarctic. For one thing, I mean, just out of curiosity, the water there is almost black. Hmm. It is so dense and, and it has a high level of salinity and it's also extremely cold. So when you look at the water in these images, quite often it looks quite dark and it actually is black. On a, on a gray day, it's black water. And which, silent. I'm trying to picture what it sounds like there. It's there was silence at times, but you always could hear penguins. You could always hear penguins somewhere, either the little Adelie penguins or the big emperor penguins. So you would, that to me was magical, this, yeah. this pristine white silence and then a haunting call of an emperor penguin. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you. I'm living vicariously through <laughs> Lois Brown at the moment. We're going to talk with her a little bit more later on this edition of Go Island. In the meantime, we are heading down to Victoria. It's time of the year, the time of the year when we are stalking freshwater lakes. Here's Jen Moran. There are also wheelchair accessible docks to be found at Westwood Lake here in Nanaimo and also at Long Lake. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're having a great time. There's lots of story behind the scenes here at Into the Ice. It's an exhibit featuring the work from two different artists. One, Lois Brown, she's a photographer and a documentary maker. I think I can call her that. She's got four projects under her belt. And Rick Silas, he is a ice glass sculptor. He's been featured on the Discovery Channel as well as on the Dragon's Den. And he has a patent for this type of um, manipulation, I guess I could say, that he does with the glass forms. He doesn't use heat. These are all formed cold. You can find out more on Saturday, May the 4th. Both artists will be in attendance here at the old school house. We're going to tell you more about what's happening that day later on this edition of Go Island. But right now it's time for me to stop talking and take a short break. Still ahead today on Go Island, potential fines in Port Alberni for not being bear aware and highlights from the inaugural Western Canada Cup. That and more still to come today on Go Island. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Into the Ice is the current exhibit here at the Old School House. The images are beautiful. Photographer Lois Brown decided to print them on silk. Why? Well, the Antarctic is such an enormous, vast space. I knew I had to print large. Mm. And I'd had several shows on printed paper and, and the thought of going through that again and putting them behind glass just didn't work for me. So I had seen a small silk hanging when I was uh, abroad and it gave me the idea that perhaps we could print the photographs on silk. How hard was that to do? Well, it, it's, it's, we use the same photographic process as, as painting, as printing on paper, yeah. but it's just on silk this time. Wow. Uh, and I was able to go huge. Yeah, and they're beautiful, very crisp, very sharp. You need to come to the old school house and see it in person. Now, Into the Ice is the name of the exhibit here, but it's also a much broader project, a collaborative of artists. It Tell is. me about that. Well, several artists got together after our show in Sydney, which was called Into the Ice, Arctic Meets Antarctic. And that was back in September. That was in September. And four other artists joined our group, and we put together a, a rather unique and, and loose collaboration called Into the Ice. We now have a website, intotheice.ca, and our mission is examining how multimedia art can help protect, educate, and, and preserve the unique environments of both poles. Excellent, thank you. 
I'm, Thanks, I'm hoping Kate. that we have more time to talk later because Lois is absolutely fascinating. We're going to throw things up to Port Alberni now. Jenny Fortin looks into how Port Alberni is trying to become a bear aware community. There's some Vancouver Island University students who have done a study and if people don't start complying, they're going to start getting fined. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. This is landscape photographer Lois L. Brown, and she has lived and is living a fabulous, adventuresome life. Her latest video is called One Woman's Journey Antarctica. It's on the screen behind us. What are we going to hear? What are we going to see, experience in this? Well, Kate, this is a journey to the Antarctic that I took on a Russian icebreaker. So I basically documented everything we did. Uh, either in video or in print form, and we've engaged it with music into a pretty interesting DVD. And is it sort of a, a, um, a portrayal of your experience or a more of a look into the geography of the area and the environment both. that you're Bit in? Of both. Yep. Okay. Um, I'm going to share, I always go long, I'm going to try to keep it short, but you almost died on this trip, literally? I got really, really seasick and to the point where things were looking pretty grim. If, if the water hadn't flattened off and once you get in the ice, the water is very calm and thankfully we got there just in time. Well, and I was saying, asking, well, couldn't you just be airlifted out? Could a helicopter not just come and get you and, and take you to get some medical attention? And you said, oh no, we're too far gone. We were point. out of rescue capability range at that point. And it was a bucket list item for you? It was top of the bucket list and the next one is Africa and I leave in August. Okay, now what's gonna happen here at the Old School House on May the 4th? On May the 4th we have in the afternoon, we will be here from one to four, Rick and I. He will be doing ice carving in front of the Old School House. We will have hot chocolate. We will have goodies for the young people. I will be in the gallery and the video will be um, screening for anyone who'd like to see it. In the evening there is an event from 7 till 9 with grown-up polar beverages <laughs> and some very special treats and Rick and I will both be here for that as well. Nice. Sounds fabulous. It's been a pleasure meeting you Lois. Thank you Kate. Thank you too. You. We're gonna throw things over now from ice of one kind to ice of another kind, the inside, a hockey rink type of ice. It's Matt Carter with some highlights from the ongoing Western Canada Cup. It's now in full swing. The inaugural Western Canada Cup is now underway in Nanaimo and we have a pair of tickets to give away to the championship game which takes place at Frank Crane Arena on Saturday, May the 4th at 7 o'clock. This is the game that you want to see, that is if you're not here at the old schoolhouse experiencing the art exhibit of Into the Ice. Yes, we cover it all here on Go Island. If you can name the four different leagues that are competing in the WCC in Nanaimo, you can email your list to islandcontests at shaw.ca. We will phone the winner on Friday morning and we'll also be posting the winner's names to our Twitter feed and our Facebook page as well. It's been a true pleasure and honor and inspiration to meet Lois Brown today. You can meet her in person along with glass artist Rick Silas here at the Old School House on Saturday. Check out the website for more information. Thanks for watching this edition of Go. We'll see you next time.